<laughs> Can't go anywhere on the farm without a certain person trying to jump on my shoulder. <laughs> Isn't that right? I don't want to step on the baby bluebells coming up. So, it's amazing. Whoop, there goes a pheasant. The dogs are all chasing it out across the field. Anyway, spring is already on the way. We haven't even hit the new year yet with the baby bluebells coming up. Isn't that right, time? Time. Time is everything. <laughs> Isn't that right? He's such a purry cat. He's becoming such another love bug, aren't you? That was Bodacious' old place. That was his favorite place, was to sit up there. Oh, very old fashioned kind of closing of gates here. It's a double. Aren't you so beautiful? Aren't you so beautiful? No, that gate is not good for walking on. We're coming over here. So I want to see what this flow is like. It's quite deep. There's so much rain today, earlier this morning. I doubt he's gonna, are you gonna come across? Are you gonna do the bodacious and come with us? Are you gonna jump the stream? Wee You're becoming quite the farm cat, aren't you? No, 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 I don't want you to jump up right now. This is my mega nettle patch. You have to leave stuff standing because there's a lot of insects that live in there. By the way, my hands are dirty because I was doing some gardening before I came for my walk. But there's lots of larvae, eggs, chrysalises are all in the standing nettles. And thistles. These are thistles. So this is kind of like a real wildlife insect patch for all the eggs and babies and larvae and cocoons and chrysalises or whatever you want to call them. So they need patches of this. And look at what we also find. Beautiful mushrooms. Look at that. Beautiful mushrooms. This is one of those magnificent beech trees we have here. And these are just dead branches, but they're good for fungi and mushrooms or mushrooms and fungi. You could say the flowers of fungi or mushrooms. Anyway, here's another nettle patch. And there 
is the great oak tree. We've come out of the woods into the field of the great oak tree. You're such a dog of a cat, aren't you? Now, right here, we have an ash tree and an oak tree right next to each other. You can see they have different kinds of bark. This is kind of flat with these rivulet actions, if you will. So it's kind of flat to the touch. Isn't that right, Tom? Then you come to the oak tree. And these are broader, more ridgy. Can you see the difference? So they're about the same age. So actually this is probably older because ash trees grow faster. But this is the oak, okay? And then this is the ash. These are narrower and flatter, the crevices, as well as the uprights. Then you can see this is the ash. That's the oak. And on this side, they have, the oak has lichen on it. One, two, three, four different kinds at least. There's probably more, I'm not a lichen expert. Whereas the ash tree has moss. Look at the moss, a woodland of moss. And then here's some lichen. The difference also between an oak and an ash is in their buds. Okay, so this is an ash tree bud. They're like a black, um, the bud is a, like a black flame on the end and they're very big. You can see here's more ash buds, very big at the end. And then if we go up here, This is an oak tree. You can see it's still holding its oak leaves. So there won't be many buds on it, but its buds will be much smaller. At the moment, you can't really see any buds because it's just the leaves are there. This is a dead branch. So I'm not gonna snap it off, but that's the difference between an oak and an ash. Is that right, Time Kitty? Isn't that right? Yeah. Ah, uh, and that is a hawthorn. You can see the hawthorn leaf.